Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up 1.70% right now roughly. This is quite good, it is a very good reaction, just above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. This very, very important support level for the midterm. This reaction is quite good. We got to pay attention to this and I will give you guys more details in this video, of course. Just remember, click on the like button to support this channel. If you're new around here, consider subscribing because I am here every single day to update you guys on Tesla and on other tech stocks that we like to trade so much. So seriously, consider subscribing. Right now, Tesla is going up nicely. The S&P is trying to recover. The market is trying to recover. The S&P, the Nasdaq, this is quite good. However, the situation is not bullish yet. We still have to see bullish reactions to confirm a bullish movement on the market and on Tesla as well, because Tesla will probably follow the overall sentiment seen in the overall market. And right now, unfortunately, we don't see any crystal clear, amazing bullish signal. We see the beginning of what could be a very good reaction. However, we don't see any confirmation yet. In my humble opinion, the confirmation will come if the S&P breaks today's high tomorrow and closes above the support level at 4167. If this happens, then okay, we are probably talking about a false breakout and a bear trap on the index, a false breakout from this head and shoulders chart pattern in the weekly chart. The Nasdaq index is holding around the support level, which is quite good. And uh, in my humble opinion, we must react, break today's high tomorrow or by Wednesday and close above 12,567 points, the black line over here in this chart. This is what I see. This is the only scenario that I clearly see the indices reacting. And probably Tesla will be dragged along with the indices, probably will Tesla climb to higher levels. However, I agree with you guys. This year sucks. This year, the S&P had the worst performance in 83 years, as we can see in this article on Market Watch over here. A rough four months for stocks. S&P books the worst start to a year since 1930. Nine, As we can see over here, dropping nearly 13% this year, while the next worst drop was on only on 1939, minus 17.3%, and on 1932, minus 28.2%. Do you think this is terrible? This looks horrible? Well, the Nasdaq index is dropping down 21.2% this year, representing the biggest such fall for the Nasdaq Composite since its creation in 1971. So, 2022 is a horrible, horrible year for stocks, and Tesla is not an exception, okay? Tesla is dropping roughly 15% this year, but I think we do have a light in the end of this tunnel. Of course, our weekly portfolio is performing amazingly well. Let's take a quick look at the Finance Hydra Trading Newsletter. So far, so good. My performance is 100% public. Since 2021, we are talking about 700 trades. We still have an amazing performance despite the intense drop seen this year. Since 2021, we are up 68%, while the S&P is only up 10%. Last 52 weeks, we are up 23%, doing making an alpha of 25% over the S&P's performance of minus 2.21%, while this year, 2022, the worst year ever in 83 years, we are still up 5%, while the S&P is down more than 10%. This is crazy, we can consistently beat the market, and if you wanna trade with me, subscribe at our trading newsletter. Now, back to Tesla. What I think for Tesla is, okay, I, I already told you guys, if the indices react this week, in the next incoming days, probably we'll see something very good. But Tesla, to me, is already doing something very good. Let's start looking at the one-hour chart. 
As we already discussed in our last video, Friday's video, again, I do videos every single day over here, guys. So Friday, I told you guys, well, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, this support level is the most important support level for the short term. Only if we lose this point, we're gonna see Tesla actually frustrating a possible bullish structure. Because as far as I know, Tesla is dropping right now. Is dropping right now. However, if it holds at this area and does a bottom higher than the previous bottom, we might see it doing a bullish pivot point. If this happens, Tesla has decent, very high chances of breaking the $1,000 mark and i do believe we're gonna retest the 1087 however we must not lose the 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement we must not lose again the 858 dollars roughly okay if we lose this point okay tesla frustrated the possible bullish structure over here we are not gonna be bullish right now so we gotta wait for a better clearer bullish structure because as far as I know, this could be just a delicate bounce for Tesla to resume the bearish momentum all the way down to the 700s again. So this is the most important support level for Tesla. And this is the most important crucial moment that Tesla has to react right now. In the daily chart, we also see the 61.8% retracement holding the price. This point, uh, curiously, this point was a top level on March 2022, that's quite funny, and right now it's working as a support level. This is the principle of polarity in technical analysis working over here. So, okay, a previous top is working as a future support level, that's quite good. We see a bullish candlestick right now today, also quite good. What Tesla must not do, it must not lose today's low, okay? If it does, okay, so the 700s probably is going to be our next target to aim but right now it's doing a bullish reaction and just like the indices if it confirms meaning if we break today's high tomorrow for good i do believe tesla will do another good upside movement probably it's gonna trigger the bullish pivot point in the one hour chart and in the next few days we could easily retest the 21 exponential moving average in the daily chart which is right now the most important resistance level for Tesla to break. Only if Tesla breaks the 21 IMA in the daily chart, we'll see a continuation of the bull trend. In the weekly chart, we also see the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. And uh, if it does a bullish candlestick right now this week, it will confirm that last week we did an exhaustion bar with high volume, just at the support level at the retracement. So this could be possibly one of the best signs ever in Tesla since, I don't know, maybe in 2022, right? It's going to be one of the best signals that I ever seen over here this year. So I think we should keep our eyes open because Tesla could be an amazing, amazing, incredible buy in the next few days. Let's just wait for some confirmation on the indices, especially on the Nasdaq index, which is trying to react right now, but it's not... It's not that strong. This reaction is good, but it is not great. So we got to keep your eyes open on the indices because probably they will confirm the reaction in Tesla. And honestly, I think Tesla is one of the best opportunities right now. Many of the mega cap stocks, they're not that great, right? I mean, Amazon, it does not look great. Apple, it is still not doing any technical incredible movement. Nvidia, NVIDIA is a good one. I will record another video today about NVIDIA, but uh, I still believe Tesla has more upside potential. Google is looking good as well, but it's not, it's not that clear, right? I mean, there many, many stocks are dropping and are at incredible levels, but to me, Tesla is by far one of the most interesting ones right now and i will keep you guys updated on this every single day do you want to trade with me subscribe at our trading newsletter thank you very much for watching this video stay safe farewell